Welcome back. Now, last night we reported that Rafael Nadal had defeated Roger Federer in the Australian Open semi-final by three sets to two. Well, for all you Nadal fans, he did win that game, but by three sets to love. He powered past Federer 7-6, 6-3, 6-3, maintaining his dominance over the 17-time Grand Slam champion. The world number one faces Stanislas Waringa for the title on Sunday. Oh, my goodness. And he just keeps on raising it to another level, even bringing those who've seen it hundreds of times before to their feet. A fitting way to bring up a second match point and to set up a date with Stan Wawrinka in the final. Joining Pete Sampras with 14 Grand Slam titles. It will remain a very tough opponent in front. Babrinka, Babrinka is playing just amazing, winning a fantastic match against Novak yesterday against Berdic. So uh, he should come to this to this final with a, with a big confidence now. And I never thought about having 13 Grand Slams already. So <laughs> I never thought about having 14. But it's the only thing that I can. Uh, swear is I'm gonna I'm gonna try my best. <laughs> the Fiji Sevens team's dream of qualifying into the Las Vegas Sevens quarterfinal has just become tougher. This follows their loss to Australia 22-21 in the second pool game. Minor mistakes cost the side. As Vashnil Prasad reports, they now hope to beat New Zealand in their last pool match tomorrow to remain in contention for the Cup quarterfinal. The Fiji Sevens team came out all fired up against Australia in their second pool match. A quick start from captain Osea Kolinisau, scoring the first try in just 15 seconds. the inside pass. There's only 15 seconds on the clock. Fiji showed their class and looked unstoppable. And in the second minute, skipper Kolinisau crossed over again for the second try. This is his second try. And it's all about the strength of his running. Australia then mounted pressure on Fiji's defence and in the fifth minute Semi Kunatani was seen being for a high tackle. The Aussies with an extra man advantage got a try through Shannon Walker a minute before full time. And in the extra time a mistake by Pio Tuai allowed Australia to run in for their second try. Can he go into the corner Maloof? Yes he can! But with a missed conversion, Fiji led 14-12 at the break. In the second spell, both sides threw all, but it was replacement Jonah Tuitonga racing away for Fiji's third try. Australia were classic and got their set pieces right, closing the margin 21-19. Fiji were penalised on crucial opportunities, and a silly mistake turned this scoreboard round. Oh, that's a penalty because you can't put out the ball. Australia's Cameron Clark became the hero after successfully kicking a penalty. Cameron Clark to win the game for Australia. Three points. Can he keep his head down? Can it split the uprights? Yes, it can! Australia winning 22-21 and putting Fiji in a must-win game against New Zealand to stay in contention for the cup quarters. Vashnil Prasad, Fiji One News. And in the first game, the Fiji Sevens team beat Scotland 24-0 to make a perfect start to the Las Vegas Sevens tournament. Fiji's tries came in from Levani Botia, Donasio Rotumbuli, Osea Kolonisao, and Samisoni Viriviri. Here are the highlights. Rotumbuli decides to make the passes. Colin Gregor got back. Try time Fiji. Been patient in the build up. The wrap around and the show and go. From Fiji. The shrug of the hips from Pio Tui. And the sprint is on now. Down that touchline. He's going for Rotumbuli. Tackled by Colin Gregor. But Rotumbuli gets the handoff. And Rowney goes for the touchdown. Second try for Fiji. He engaged the scrum half. He's trying to pick it up. And it's going to be costly. And Kalina Sal goes out. Is uh, pulled out of position with Struan Dewar. Try the length of pitch. Scott White goes back on the left foot. The charge down. Too happy with the performance. It's always tough in the first game. Just to get the cobwebs out of the way. We could have done some things better, but it's the first game. We have to learn from what we need to execute properly. I think uh, against Scotland there was just some uh, wayward passes, 
and some options we should have taken we didn't take. Fiji-born Brumbies winger Henry Spate will be eligible to represent Australia from September. A three-man International Rugby Board Committee ruled today that the 25-year-old, who's made 46 appearances for the Canberra-based Super Rugby side since 2011, can represent Australia from September 11 this year. Under IRB laws, a player is required to spend three consecutive years in a country before being called up for international representation. Born in Suva, Spate played for New Zealand province Waikato from 2008 to 2011. The ruling means he is ineligible for this year's first two Bledisloe Cup matches and a home clash with South Africa, but will be free for the rest of the rugby championship. The Fiji Football Association's Champion vs Champion series is currently being played in the extra time after both sides were locked one all for the full 90 minutes. Bao got the goal first from Mavi Liko Nakama and Uraya Loki equalised later in the half. In the only National League match played today, Lambasa beat Nandronga 3-1 at Subrail Park. Coach and player Pita Mbolaitonga scored two goals, while Joseph Mishra scored a goal for the Mbambasinga Lions. Nandronga's lone goal came in from Penny Final. And finally in chess, Ronald Terumbea has won the season's first Blitz tournament in a tie-break this afternoon. Terumbea with candidate Master Kelvin Prasad and Manoj Kumar were all locked on 13 and a half points after the round robin games. Terumbea then won the tie to finish on top, while Kelvin Prasad finished second and Manoj Kumar was third. The one was great. It was a bit tough, but actually I was... I'm so pleased that I won the game. And uh, it was very challenging for me. To the weather and showers and thunderstorms were experienced over some parts of the country in the afternoon. A trough of low pressure affects Vanuatu. Meanwhile, another trough affects Tokelau and Northern Cooks. Just a recap of the headlines, Fiji Revenue and Customs Authority reduces debt recovery amount, government establishes links with Lithuania, and road engineers work on the Vudi Irrigation Road Bridge. And before I go, a quick reminder, you can also get news headlines directly to your mobile phones. To subscribe, just text SUB space FTV News to 777, and you can get your news and sports headlines via SMS. And to note, if you sign up today, you can enjoy free subscription up until the end of this month. From next month, charges will apply, but you can view our terms and conditions on our website. That's Fiji One News. Thank you for joining us. Good evening.